Welcome. Now in this module, we're going to take a look at CIS control number 13, data protection, and this is the third part of the module series for data protection. This is the layout for the version seven controls. We have 20 CIS top 20 critical controls, and we're taking a look at CIS control number 13, which is part of the foundational controls. Now this is the system entity relationship diagram. And as you can see, there's an alerting and reporting and analytics system on the left. We have computing systems, and we're using various mechanisms like data loss prevention solutions or data inventory classification systems in order to protect the data. Now, control number 13.7 tells us manage USB devices. So uh, USB devices are usually the main cause for, for transfer of internal malware. And um, this, is a, uh, this is a mechanism, transfer of information via USB is usually considered very convenient because we can just give a USB to somebody, uh, our coworker, and they can copy some important files and give it to you, or it may be shared with any other person in the organization. However, those USB devices are usually used at home, and they're used at the office, they're used by our, sometimes by our family members, and uh, they usually have malware on them because they are, uh, they are uh, being used by so many people on so many different devices. So it's a very, uh, effective manner actually to transfer malware from one computer to another and we have to be very careful how we use USB devices. So if USB storage devices are required, enterprise software should be used that can configure systems to allow the use of specific devices and that can be done um, with the help of data loss prevention solutions or through other controls also so that only an authorized USB um, manufacturing uh, by the manufacturing by serial number or any other uh, uh, type of identification, only that is allowed to use uh, to be used on, on the devices. An inventory of such devices should be maintained as well. The next control, 13.8, tells us manage systems external removable media read-write configurations. So configure systems not to write data to external removable media if there is no business need for supporting such devices. So sometimes what happens is that we connect external media, very large uh, external media, um, several gigabytes, for example, to take backups. And that may not be authorized. And uh, in fact, that may be a mechanism for someone to take an entire copy of your entire system or all the data on your system while you are not there. Um, so we need to restrict this and make sure that uh, there is no um, external removable media read-write uh, which is possible. In your entire enterprise. And then 13.9, encrypt data on USB storage devices. So whatever um, USB storage devices are authorized, only they should be allowed and then the data on those should be encrypted and this can also be done with the help of a DLP, data loss prevention solution, or other types of software. They, they can also do this. Um, so that's that all that we have for data protection. This was the third in the series of modules. Thank you.